Hello everyone, welcome to Coding Decoded. My name is Anshay today. I am working as technical architect at Adobe, and I am slightly unwell today. I have mild fever and cold, so I'll keep this video short and to the point. So I'll be walking you through the question as well as the algorithm by the presentation. So let's quickly hop on to it. Uber picks lead code four eighty five. It's a hard level question on lead code, and I don't feel the same. Also, this question is based on mathematics and geometry. So in case you don't understand this question or don't want to do do it, you can skip this up because the possibility of this question getting asked in interviews is extremely low. For those who are still interested, let's walk through the question. First, I, I am depicting the question by visualization. So here in this question, we are given n buckets, and we are also given that only one bucket out of these n buckets is poisonous in nature. So we are also given guinea pigs. so whenever a pig drinks water from any of these buckets in case that bucket happens to be poisonous then that pig is going to die we are also given two times one the time to test and other one time to die whenever a pig drinks water from any of given set of buckets that pig has to wait up till minutes to die means before drinking on the next set of buckets what it means is that let's assume this pig drank water from these three buckets unless we get the result of the drinking water of from these three buckets that pig can't be used further to drink water from any further bucket so this states that there is an observation period up till minutes to die means given in the question what we are also told we are told that up till minutes to test this is a final time the maximum time of under which the experiment can be done so as per the example it is given as 60 minutes that we have to do this entire experiment within 60 minutes the observation time or minutes to die time is 15 minutes and let's take a slightly different case wherein the bucket size the number of buckets that we have is less than equal to 5 as per the question the total experiment time is given to us as 60 minutes and the total observation time is given to us as 15 minutes so when i divide total time by observation time what do i get 60 by 15 is 4 so that simply means there can be four set of intervals the first interval would be from 0 to 15 the second would be from 15 to 30 and the third one would be from 30 to 45 the fourth one would be from 45 to 60 and in case the pig doesn't die up till the first four buckets then what we can conclude we can conclude that the fifth bucket happens to be poisonous in nature so this is another observation that you should analyze that in case 60 minutes have surpassed and the pig is still alive what we can say the last bucket is poisonous in nature so we are going in a sequential manner we have considered using a single pig named p1 and that pig will first drink water from the first bucket it will wait up, wait up till 15 minutes then in the second interval it will drink water from the second bucket in the third interval from this particular bucket the fourth interval this one and in case the pig doesn't die up till the last quarter then we can say that the final bucket that we have happens to be poisonous in nature what we can conclude from this we can say that whenever the number of bucket happens to be equal to less than or equal to 5 the number of pigs needed is only one that means 5 raised to bar 0 now let's extend the bucket size further we have extended the bucket size to less than equal to 25 and we have also made sure that the bucket size is greater than 5 the total experiment time remains 60 minutes and the observation time is still 15 minutes we have also represented these 25 buckets in a form of a 2d matrix so what we are going to do the first pig p1 will drink water out of the first five buckets that means from 0 to 4 the next pig will drink water from the next five buckets that means from 5 to 9 the next pig will drink water from 10 to 14 and the next pig p4 that is shown in orange color will drink water from 15 to 19 and the last pig will drink water from that is p5 from 20 to 24 and again we have divided the experiment time in four intervals the first 
interval starts from 0 to 15 next one from 15 to 30 next one from 30 to 45 and next one from 45 to 60 so what's gonna happen these pigs p1 p2 p3 p4 and p5 will be parallelly doing the experiment and the first pig will be doing the experiment for 0 to 5 uh, 0 to 4 buckets the next pig that is in light blue color will do experiment from 5 to 9 buckets the p3 pig that is highlighted in green will do experiment from 10 to 14 buckets and p4 will do experiment from 14 to 19 p5 will be doing the experiment from 20 to 24 so what's eventually gonna happen we will be identifying the row in which this pig dies so with which row will be that be that row would be this one because this dark blue color pig it's gonna die by virtue of this bucket being poisonous now comes the question how can we identify the column in which this pig is gonna die so what we will be doing again we will be manipulating the, the same set of pigs to drink column wise as well so what we are basically doing we are making sure that the pig p1 also drinks water for all the buckets that lie in the first column we are also make sure that the second pig which is p2 will drink water from all the buckets that lie in the second column similarly for p3 and p4 and p5 and eventually what is gonna happen two pigs are gonna die in this case the first one would be this one this dark blue color and the second one would be dark green color so using these two pigs we can simply identify the exact bucket id corresponding to the poisonous bucket and that bucket id would be this one so if you carefully observe then the combination of each set of pigs give gives you the identity of each and every bucket so in case let's assume this bucket happens to be poisonous then what's gonna happen p3 pig will die and p4 pig will die so we can identify the bucket id using the combinations of these five pigs that representing rows and columns so in total how many pigs have we consumed or used for this experiment five now let's extend the same approach onto a larger bucket size so whenever the bucket size is greater than 25 and less than 125 now we can extend this entire algorithm in a 3d space so previously we did it till 2d space where we took 25 buckets alignment now we can take 125 buckets alignment using 3 sp 3d spaces one for x coordinate y and z how many pigs would be needed to do the experiment it would be equal to 5 raised to power 2 that means 25 pigs are needed in order to conclude it up let's quickly walk through the coding section so even before i solved the question one of the subscriber of coding decoded sort of already raised a pr and he has been doing it from approximately three to four months that i am aware of and in total he has submitted almost 200 prs onto coding decoded github repo this has helped him be consistent while solving daily lead code problems and I, I thank him for so, for providing these two solutions one which is a one liner and the other one which is more descriptive so you can go through these solutions yourself it's really simple to understand i'm attaching its link in the description below and in case you also want to raise prs onto coding decoded github repo you are most welcome to do it people usually code in c plus plus and java and raise prs over here so i'll be reviewing your prs from an interview's perspective and why this you will also get to know your mistakes and you will become consistent so over to you guys looking forward to it thanks for watching